Uh, this is Chris Rudolph from Logo New Now Next. Hey, Will. Hey, Chris. <laughs> I thought you, I thought you'd be wearing your Make America Gay Again hat. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, did you already did you already hear the the podcast? No, but they posted a picture online. Oh, did they? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I was like, wait, I don't think it's come out yet. That's so funny. Those guys are hilarious. My God. Oh my God, love. Um, so I love the movie. I thought it was so fun. Um, you know, I'm a gay man, so I love Eurovision. Uh, and I wanted to know, how were you, were you first introduced to Eurovision uh, by your wife? Is that, did I read that right? Yeah, we, uh, actually by my wife's cousin on uh, a visit to Sweden. In fact, my first time to Sweden, uh, we were, you know, we were out in the countryside, actually, at, at her little summer cottage. And after a day of hiking around uh, after dinner, she, she said, uh, shall we sit down and watch Eurovision? And I was like, <laughs> yeah, what is that? And uh, yeah, I just was blown away uh, by the spectacle of it all and had always thought, gosh, this is th that would make a great movie. I'm sure someone's going to do it. And I just kept clocking the fact that no one's making a Eurovision movie and I couldn't figure out why. So I thought I, I better jump on it. Uh, and it was like yeah. a years long process, right? Yeah. I don't know why it took me that long, but uh, <laughs> um, I, I, yeah, we, it, it, four or five years ago. Yeah. We finally, um, uh, Jessica Elbaum, uh, my producing partner and uh, Andrew Steele, who we wrote the script together. We, we flew out to Copenhagen that year, which was the year that uh, Conchita Verst won for Oscar. Oh my gosh. Yeah, which was an amazing performance. But we sat yeah. there in the final. I looked at these guys, uh, you know, I looked at my colleagues and I thought, do you see what I'm talking about? Do you see how amazing this show is? And uh, and that's where, that's when we got started talking to the Eurovision people and they were they were cool with it and we just kept working on it. Um, I went to ask about Dan Stevens' character and why, you know, why you thought it was important for him to be closeted and, and be Russian. Uh, I thought, you know, the line he says where he says, oh, I can't, I, you know, I can't be gay. I'm Russian. You know, that's kind of how it's taught, you know, they think. So what was, what was that like coming up with his character? Well, it was, it was loosely based on another Russian singer who uh, is, is a, is a big uh, song producer over there who he competed one year and, um, and, he, he he was just he was someone who like who, when he showed up on the red carpet he just had this presence and we were always like oh Lemtov should be modeled after this this guy who is just such a fixture <laughs> in in yeah. the Eurovision community and uh, um, and and we also you know our research and visiting there we we slowly you know we kind of uncovered we didn't realize at first how uh, how much the show itself, you know, means to the gay community and uh, that it has such a, such a big following um, and is really, uh, is really kind of an opportunity for a lot of, especially Eastern European countries that are smaller, that still uh, aren't allowed to express themselves in the way that we take for granted. Uh, it's really an opportunity for them to have a voice and, and to kind of, um, you know, express their sexuality in that way. And, and we thought, oh, well, we, we should, we should kind of touch on that area. All right. Well, uh, Will, like I said, uh, the movie was so fun. I loved it. Um, and thank okay. you again for your time. Thanks so much. I appreciate thank you. It. All right.